just in time. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the real one. Always 100, Gabriel Skywalker. And just in time, out of nowhere, Schroeder Skywalker coming to you guys with the NHL. That's right, you heard me. NHL main slate video. It's a four gamer, so easy peasy. So um, it is the NBA All-Star break, at, if you're not aware. But during the All-Star break, we're going to be giving you guys NHL videos daily, Schroeder and I. So we've been crushing it in NHL. Uh, especially the last two days. Holy crap. So if you're new to the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, stick around. Subscribe. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm at like 2.9. Um, I'm going to try to get to 3K by the end of the weekend. If we do, we do something very special. But thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, so without further ado, let's go. So, DraftKings came in 28th in a large GPP, won $12. And look at this, FanDuel came in second. I lost by 0 0.1 points for my takedown. But I'll still take it. Look at this, $16 invested, won 150 Got a 201 on this lineup. I told you guys, when it comes to NHL, I don't play. And if you caught the live stream today, the NBA live stream, you guys already know. <laughs> you guys already know we crushed it. All my fan, all my DraftKings lines up, lineups got a 337, 323, and a 323. I mean, FanDuel got a 380. So the, if you missed a live stream today, you guys missed out on a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. So, yeah, uh, absolutely destroyed it in both sports today. We're going to keep that going on to tomorrow. So, um Let's see. Let me check the Hall of Fame just to see if we had any takedowns today. So let's scroll up. That was yesterday. So Faith. Atta girl. Look at that. $300 takedown. Faith, it's good to see you on here. Very nice. There's mine. Um, this one fool turned 10 cents into five bucks on a showdown. Very nice, brother. Zeekster played my lineup on a $4 entry and won $46. That's what it's all about, guys. I'm telling you, time to join the club. www.dfsclub.com. The best thing going right now in daily fantasy sports. You get DFS space. You get pick management. You get myself, Skywalker DFS, and the DFS Whispers. Not only do you get four providers in one, you get every single sport every sport for one price all right everything wrapped up into one you get xfl nba nfl mlb pga nhl tennis nascar soccer <sighs> out of breath already like my baby's mama when she walks two feet esports mma wmba college sports your league basketball guys click the join now button it's so simple make sure you click on this my logo right here this beautiful one skywalker dfs Shout out to Space again for posting the new one up. That's my new one. So uh, shout out to Pick Management too, man. You hooked it up. So these are the plans. Good luck. Nobody can touch these plans, guys. This is for every single sport. We got our monthly. We got the silver plan for six months. And we got the full year, which is our most popular, obviously. Because basically you're getting six months for free. Six months for free, the gold plan. And then we have three-day passes, guys. You want to check us out. It's not just lineups, guys. We do bankroll management. Uh, if there's a fantasy site out there, we cover it. Uh, the cheat sheets, unbelievably, unbelievably great. Um, the members only podcasts, 24 7 tips and advice by the DFS club. And we also not just give you our lineups. Again, we help you build the best lineups possible if you want to do your own off the cheat sheets, off of the news that comes in, you know. Um, pre lock insights. Speaking of news, right? We only had to wait for the Ingram news today, so wasn't too bad. And of course, the members only Slack chat, so all access for every single package, guys. Come check us out www.dfsclub.com. Shorter and I would love to have you. Plenty room for everybody. Come get some of this NHL fire. So let's go over to draft dashboard, the best optimizer, hands down. And we're going to break the slate down. So we're going to go to the NHL because, you know, and coming soon to draft dashboard is XFL. 
So I'll be doing XFL videos from Draft Dashboard, which is wonderful. So if you yourself on Draft Dashboard, it's only $1, guys. Click on the link in the description below. $1 for 30 days. Take the trial. Take the Draft Dashboard Challenge, guys. You will not be disappointed. You get the NHL cheat sheet also, including all my save, all my watch players for every single sport, all my save lineups, everything, guys. You got to check it out. So let's get into it. We're going to go over it position by position, just like we do in the NBA videos. And let's get into it. So it's a four-gamer. Um, if you're new to NHL, DFS, so basically the smaller the slate, the easier. Today was an 11 gamer, and I still damn near had that takedown. So it's just hockey's tricky. You got to know the sport inside and out. Uh, you got to know where the the key is getting the value guys right. That's the key. You can pick the Sidney Crosby's all day you want, but if you don't get these value guys that score a hat trick like what happened tonight, you're not going to win. All right, it's that NHL is that simple. But off the top, we got Malk in here. Um, Ranked a little bit higher than Crosby on the slate. Going up against Montreal, they give up the 20, 21st most goals scored. Malkin 7-5. He's not cheap, but he gets the job done. He's on the first line. Um, last three games, 13, 8, 18 fantasy points. I mean, he covered for Sidney Crosby while he was out, but since Sidney Crosby, since Sidney Crosby has been back, there we go. Uh, Malkin has not slowed down whatsoever, so definitely worth, worth a look at 7-5. Next up, speak of the devil, Sidney Crosby skating right alongside 7-3, $200 cheaper. You can't stack. So in NHL, too, let me get comfortable here. Uh, NHL stacking is a thing, right? So if you got a center from a team, you might want to grab a couple of wingers from that team also. All right, that's another good strategy that works out. Um, you don't have to, but I recommend it. Uh, Crosby, 11, 13, 2, not, you know, not for 7, 3, not too good. That just means his big game is coming, right? Arguably the best player in the NHL, arguably the world. Um, he has slowed down, though, but I think he's playing hurt, guys. That's just me. Sidney Crosby is in play. Next up, for Carolina, now, Carolina's just been scoring so many goals lately, a shit ton of goals. Going up against New Jersey, who's also been scoring a shit ton of goals themselves. Um, Ajo's only 7 1, 26, 31, and a 15. He's been on a freaking tear. Draft dashboard ranking is at 84. Um, New Jersey gives up the 19th most goals in the NHL. Look at this, the last five games 26, 31, 15, 15, and a 20. You definitely want to get someone who's going to get you double digits. All right. That's the key for NHL fantasy. He's Mr. Double Digit, so you can actually start here at 7-1, save a little bit, but he is projected to get 10.7 fantasy points. Next up, we got Mark Scheifel here at San Jose. I expect this game right here to be very high scoring. Also, San Jose gives up probably, I think, yeah, 30th. They give up the most goals in the NHL. Not too good. My San Jose Sharks, I love you, but damn, that's bad. You got to catch... uh Scheifel here, Schiffel, whatever, fucking, you know, it's Scheifel, I believe. Uh, you got to catch him on a good day. That's the thing. He's 6-4. Last game, he got a 22. Before that, a 3 and a 9. Project to get 9 fantasy points. So, I mean, in, a, in this matchup, I do like him at 6-4 because I think there's going to be just goals, goals, goals. And that's what wins. So, it's stack Winnipeg, stack San Jose. All right. Um, I also like a New Jersey stack and I also like a Pittsburgh stack. So I'm probably going to run a couple of lineups, but I suggest you do the same. But, uh, Mark Scheifel, get him in there at 6-4. Next up, we got Andrew Robocop. 3-5, same team, right? So we're talking about stacking. In a great position, this is the value I'm talking about. 3-5 is value in NHL. 29-7-19 in his last three. Just a great matchup. I mean, he's hit or miss, but he is projected to get 4.7. I can see him getting a goal very easily, maybe a couple assists. Blocks are worth points. Um, I mean, RoboCop for 3-5, sign me up in this matchup. Just please sign me up. The only team I'd probably avoid would be Montreal. 
I don't see Montreal just has not been getting it done, guys. So let's go to winger. All right, so off the top for Winnipeg again, we got Patrick Lane's the top pay up option at seven five. Now him and and Connor, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go Connor. He's been more consistent lately. But Lane is not too shabby either, right? Projected to get eleven point six fantasy points, sixteen thirty eight fifteen in the last three. Hasn't gone under 10 fantasy points in his last five. Last time against San Jose, he got 25 fantasy points. In NHL, too, history is a thing. So I do like Patrick Lane at 7-5. Next up, Kyle Connor. Man, this guy is just on a tear, and it's about time. Because every time I play him before, he'd do absolutely nothing, just like my baby's mama. 6-9 is not bad. Projected at 13.6, so he's actually projected higher. Then Patrick Lane, 30, 38, 10, 6, and a 16 in his last five. Got an 18 last time against San Jose. I don't know, guys. I would pick him. Get him in there at 6, 9. Next up, Oliver Borkstrand at 6, 1. I'd probably say the go-to guy in Columbus, guys. Columbus and the Rangers, too. Columbus hasn't been scoring that many goals. They have a lot of guys banged up, a lot of guys injured. Uh, the Rangers, I guess. They just haven't been too hot themselves, but Borkstrand's projected at 12.7. If Columbus does score goals, it goes through Borkstrand because nobody's left standing. So get him in there. He's projected at 12.7. Um, finally had a double digit game out of the last five, the last game he finally got it. But look at this. Last time against the Rangers, he got 29 fantasy points, guys. Get yourself some Borkstrand. What's up, Schroeder? You can come join. I know. I know you're excited about the NHL as much as I am. I don't know. I am. Let's see. Schroeder's doing better too. So we're both healing nicely. If you're, if you know, if you're new to the videos, we just lost our, uh, I lost my lab, my Labrador, but, uh, we're doing, we're doing a lot better today. So Schroeder is more active. He's walking around more, but he just stepped on the remote and there goes the TV. <laughs> But anyway, just an update, guys. We're doing fine. Again, thank you so much for all the well wishes. And guess what? In 12 minutes, it is my birthday. So, yes, in 12 minutes, I'll be a year older. Wonderful. Uh, next up, Shevenkov here at 5'9". Try to pronounce that name right there. Shevenkov. Again. Carolina's been scoring a shit ton of goals. He's been part of it. 10 and 36 in his last two games. Five nines, pretty okay. Um, again, against New Jersey. Now, their goal has been pretty, he's been pretty solid as of late. But we all know that doesn't last very long in the NHL. Goalies get on these hot streaks, and then they just have that shit game. And against Carolina, I can definitely see that coming. Project to get 10.2 fantasy points. Get them in there, guys, at 5'9". I want to stack Carolina because, they'll, they trust me, they will be low-owned because they're not the sexiest team, but especially on these slates, guys, because a lot of people are going to play NHL that never play. So they're going to look for the Pittsburgh guys, right, because they know who the Pittsburgh guys are. So if you want to be above the field, and they're going to go for the Rangers guys, right, Winnipeg, San Jose, Carolina, my top three stacks, all right? Next up, Montreal, if I was to pick one guy, it would be Brendan Gallagher, 6'5". He should be a 7K player, so we're getting him at a discount. 11, 13, 11 in his last three games. Double-digit fantasy points every game, pretty much. Last time against Pittsburgh, he got 21 fantasy points. They're nice. So, projected to get nine, get him in there, guys, at 6'5", if you must play someone from Montreal. Next up, Blake Coleman, just been on a freaking tear. He's only 5'4". Last three games, 22, 16, 26 fantasy points. He's projected to get 13 fantasy points. For a 5'4 player, that's high. Um, double digits in his last three games. I look for this to continue. Just the way he's skating. He just seems to be skating faster. Um, just seeing the puck better than usual. I don't know why, but hey, we'll take it, right? He's always low-owned. All these low, these low salary guys. Very low owned. Excuse me. Just had two two burritos. Um, but yeah, get him in there, especially that projection. That's way higher for a 5'4 player. Next up, we got Timo Meyer, San Jose. 
So San Jose is banged up too. Very banged up. 5-3, you're getting uh, first liner here. Projected at 8.3. Before that 8, he had 41 fantasy points. Look for him for a bounce back game. I know 8 fantasy points isn't too shabby, but we want double digits out of every single player, right? That's what we look for. In this matchup against Winnipeg, oh, yeah, sign me up for some Timo Meyer. Absolutely. You could go Evander Kane. Um, actually, I'm putting him in my player pool just to get a piece, but he's 6'2". Very risky. Very risky. Another one that's been banged up, you know. But if he's fully healthy and he's a full go, you can definitely go there at 6'2", and I wouldn't hate you for it. Next up, Kyle Palmer, 5'1", New Jersey. Love New Jersey lately. 23 and 23 in his last three games. Projected to get 8.6 fantasy points. Last five, 23, 23, 3 and a 10. I do like that. Um, he's always low on too. I'm always looking for these low on guys. Get him in there, guys, at 5 1. Let's see here. Next up, San Jose Sharks again. Kevin LeBlanc. He's getting some extra ice time with the injuries. Now, until that dud game, he got a three. Before that, he was getting double-digit fantasy points every game. He's only 4-4, projected to get 7.1 this game. Uh, I just think they're under-projecting everybody. They just don't realize how high scoring this game is going to be. So, I think so. I could be wrong. It is the NHL. It's like any sport, right? You never know what's going to happen. But there's a good – I got a good feeling about this game. And, like I said, Carolina, just lighten them up. So. Get him in there. Next up for value, 4K, Nick Folgino. He's just always underpriced. Two, two in his last two, right? He got, I think, eight fantasy points today, so he's coming off a back-to-back -back game. It doesn't matter with these guys. They're in great shape. Projecting at 6.5. Folgino can go out there and get you um, a hat trick. No problem. Um, look at this ranking, or look at this uh, matchup. New York is ranked 20. They give up the 27th most goals in the league, guys. Sneaky 4K player right here. So when I tell you these value players, these are the ones you want to look for. That will get you over that finish line. Next up, especially Gusev here. Gusev is another one. You catch him on a good day at 3-9. You're smiling like Schroeder that ate. You can believe my, my wife fed him filet mignon tonight. Yes, that's right. Schroeder ate filet mignon. $71 worth. From the butcher today, and Schroeder got his own steak. So, do you ever think this guy's uh, underappreciated? You're crazy. He's spoiled rotten, right, Schroeder? That's right. Who else gets filet mignon? You do. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Um, so Gusev at three nine, guys. I know he sounds like a goddamn goose, like a geese, but projected at seven point two, which is really high for a three nine player, guys. And as we as we start doing more of these videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just so excited. I'm just ew. So for New York, a value guy I really love. I've been playing him a lot lately. Is Pavel Butchevich, 16 last game. He's been really for a 4.7. He was cheaper, guys. I was playing him when he was like 3.9. Um, project to get 6.9 fantasy points against the Blue Jackets. I mean, look at this. He's gotten a 16. That zero, a two, a 34, and a 13. New York is banged up also. So get yourself some, some, uh, boost, boost, send, bend. <laughs> I need my rock star, right? Boosevich, Pavel. Good luck pronouncing these names, guys. I'm doing the best I can. Um, Creator, I mean, for 6K, I don't see myself going here. You can if you want. He's contrarian. He's another one of those well known players. Will be highly owned, but that's not what we're looking for. Last but not least, coming off a monstrous game. Now, the thing with Wayne Simmons is he is very, very streaky. Probably one of the streakiest players I've ever seen. So, coming off a monster game, he's bare minimal almost. He's 2 8. I could see him getting another 20 or more fantasy points this slate, and I would not be surprised. My sneaky play of the slate, and if you want good value right here, is going to be Wayne Simmons, guys, at 2 8. Um, hasn't updated yet, but yeah, he broke the slate pretty much. So get him in there. So let's go to defensemen. Goalies, I never do goalies, guys, because first of all, we don't know who's going to start. Second of all, you're on your own with a goalie. All right. 
Uh, you got to join the DFS club to get the full lineups. You know what I'm saying? So top option is Brett Burns at 7K. It's Brett Burns, right? So we're going to roster him. He's like auto roster. 16, 16, 14, 17, 17 fantasy points. For a defenseman to get this many points is really good, and it's really rare, guys. Um, again, I love this game. I'm going to get as many parts as I can, especially some Brett Burns. Next up, we got Chris Letang. I really don't like his price at 6'8". Um, I don't know, guys. I'd rather go Burns for $200 more. But if you want to be contrarian, the matchup isn't as good. But before that 7, he had a he had a 31 and a 23. So he's very hit and miss, whereas Burns is more consistent, right? And Burns couldn't just get 30 or 40 fantasy points, and I wouldn't be surprised. So Latang or Burns, I probably lean Burns. You can run Latang in a Pittsburgh stack if you want. It's up to you guys. You know that. Both are to get the same amount. So keep that in mind. Next up, Jacob Slavin in a great matchup. Going up against the Devils, man. Carolina, my favorite uh, defenseman here. Carolina, sorry, going up against New Jersey. So. <laughs> New Jersey gives up the most goals in the league to defensemen. Good to know, right? Jacob Slavin is the top option in Carolina for defense. He's 5'2", which is not bad. Defensemen are normally that price, except for like when Brett Burns is on the slate or Latang. Then they're like 7K, but this is about right. I do like Slavin here. Projected at 8.4. I just want tons of Carolina, too. Next up, we got Neil CM Point. He's been playing like a savage, too. He's only 5'1". Great option at defense. Projected at 8.4 fantasy points. The same as Slavin. Slavin sounds like uh, soup. Get your Slavin soup. Um, CM Punk, 835, 59, and a 2, right? You got to catch him on a good day. I don't like his price, but the matchup's good against San Jose, guys. He does take a lot of shots. A lot of shots. He's actually known more for blocking shots, which is what? 1.5 fantasy points for each block. So, Neil CM Point, get him in there. Next up, you want to uh, stat Carlson and Burns. I wouldn't blame you. Carlson's 5K. Another one, right? 21, 10, 12 fantasy points in his last three games. I normally play these guys separately if one or the other are injured, but the way they've been playing, I can definitely stack these two. Um, but at, my strategy has been lately is I've been paying down at defense, and it seems to be working. So uh, I might change it up on a four-gamer, though. You never know. You never know what I'm going to do. But Carlson's projected to get 7.9. Again, against a Winnipeg team, ranked 22nd in the league against defensemen as far as goals scored, guys. So get him in there. Next up, Joe Pesci's son, Brett Pesci. 3-8, Carolina. 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 Uh, New Jersey ranked 30th in the league against defensemen, guys. Joe Pesci's son will get you there, too, for value at 3-8, 7-10, 4 So it'll never completely dead on you. Great GPP play here. But it's a four-gamer, so I probably wouldn't do a cash lineup. I'd pretty much just strictly go GPP. Let's see. Next up, who do we got? We got uh, Dmitry Kolokov at 2-8, right? Not bad. Again, Winnipeg. Winnipeg, San Jose, Winnipeg, San Jose. I know you can't play all these guys, right? But you got to – this is good value at 2-8. Look at his last five games, 6, 4, 13, 7, and an 8. For 2-8, if you ever pay 2-8 for a player, uh, just be happy they got you two fantasy points. But he's been shattering that, guys, consistently. He gets tons of ice time, too. 21, 19, and 21 minutes. Projected at 4.1. That's just value right here, guys. I thought I'd just throw that one out there. Next up, Mark Edward Vlasic, San Jose Sharks, 2-8. Gets power play minutes, which is good. Tons of ice time, 19, 20, 24 ice time minutes. Projected to get 5.3. 2-8, guys. 2-8 is, is nothing. Look what he's done in his last two games, 16 and 11. So Mark Edward Vlasic pickles, get him in there. And one of my favorite defensemen, I love to roster. He had a better year last year, but season, you know, it's only halfway over. Zach Rowinski at 5'7". 11 and a 20 in his last two. The second scoring option I'd probably say on Columbus. 
Borkstrand's number one, and then Z Warinsky's number two. 11, 0, 20, 21, and a 12. Double digits, guys. Get him in there as long as he's healthy. Projected to get 9.5 fantasy points. The Rangers give up the 20th most goals to defensemen. So get him in there, guys, at 5 7. And that's going to do it. So, you know, it's a four gamer. Um, tomorrow's slate will be a lot larger. So there'll be a lot more players to choose from, but not too bad, right? So let's get you a free lineup sponsored by your friends at the DFS club. So let's see what we're working with here. Um, goalie, we can just punt for now. So I'm liking this, liking that. Like this, like that. Okay, I like this line. I will save this for my draft dashboard members, and I will probably play the damn thing. See what happens. You got Scheifel, Sebastian Ahu, fucking Don Ho's fucking god nephew. For you youngins don't know who Don Ho is, Google him. Um, Fogino, Zvekinov, Gusev, Kolikov, CM Punk. Dominique at goalie, but that will change, guys. And Patrick Lane. There you go, guys. And don't forget, join the winning team, www.dfsclub.com. We'd love to have you. Plenty of room for everybody and the most affordable. And we change the game, guys. Nobody else does this. Nobody gives you every single sport. So while the NBA All-Star break's going on, come check us out, guys. Come win some NHL money. Hell, come win some tennis money. Come win some MMA money this weekend, some NASCAR money, some, I mean, you name it, we're playing it. So we'd love to have you guys, www.dfsclub.com. With that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we can get the 3,000 subscribers by Sunday. That's my goal. I will pray to the fantasy gods, but God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody, especially your baby's mamas or baby's daddies. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next video. Look out tomorrow, guys. Take care.